Welcome guys, welcome back. This is Schmidt Dude here uh, with another Rainbow Six Siege video. I apologize if I'm rushing through this. This is like my 25th take already. <laughs> it's kind of tough for me to uh, record myself talking. I, uh, it's the first time I've ever done something like this, so bear with me here if I uh, stumble over my words. Um, uh, first off, I just want to say thank you for all the feedback that people have provided so far. I know this is only my third video, but I've already got like nine subscribers, which I'm really excited about. Nice to see people wanting to follow this. And people have already left me some feedback on how I can improve. I know in the last video my voice was a little bit lower and you couldn't really hear me. The game was a little too loud. I kind of tweaked around with some settings here. Hopefully it makes a difference now. Hopefully you can hear me. If not, please leave some suggestions, um, any kind of comments, concerns, anything in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from everyone on how I can improve. This is my first time doing this, so I'm a real rookie at this, but uh, hopefully uh, I can get through this with you guys. Alright, so today we're going to talk about the operators within Rainbow Six. Now within Rainbow Six, you can pick out 14 different operators so far within the closed beta. I know in the full game you'll be able to pick uh, out of the full 20. However, as you can see here, there's a few missing here. There's six missing. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what those are like. But I wanted to just give you guys a quick rundown of the types of uh, operators you can be. Um, what's interesting with Rainbow Six is when you do pick to be a certain person before a match, a certain type of uh, attacker or a certain defender, no one else can be that person. So it really emphasizes on doing your job right and also working well with uh, someone else of a different skill set. Uh, for example, you know, some guys have their shields, some guys have heavier weapons, uh, deal some more damage, or with the defenders, some guys are more harassing types while other guys are disabling types, uh, kind of using different terms here. Um, so it really depends, and it's really interesting on different playstyles. Some people like to be, you know, the tank. Other people like to be more finesse and kind of running around with gadgets. So it really depends. It's really cool to see how they've included all different kinds. Um, now here, so far, what I've got is uh, these two attackers, Blitz and Twitch. Blitz, amazing. He's just got his shield that's got flash on the front. So kind of you can kind of flash the enemies and uh, stun them for a little bit while you push up with his shield and gun them down with your pistol. Really cool. I mean, one of my favorites so far. Uh, and then I have Twitch. Uh, Twitch is kind of a cool character. Uh, sorry, that kind of cool character to use. She's got the shock drone that kind of infiltrates during the match and disables any electronics in the way and kind of scouts the area. Also, you can kind of shoot at the uh, defenders with the shock drone, but hardly deals any damage, and it's more of a harassing type uh, little drone. Really cool. I've seen other people send their shock drone in to kind of. Um, harass the defenders, so they're all looking down on the ground trying to shoot this little thing while the other team breach in while they're not looking, which is really cool. And then for my defenders, I've picked Mute. Uh, he has a jammer, which disables any drones. Really effective at the start of the game when they're trying to scout out the defensible, defensive positions. You can jam them so they have no idea. And we got Jaeger here, who has this defense system, because grenades are plenty in uh, Rainbow Six. As you can tell with uh, the close quarter combat, I'm sure, Stun grenades, flash grenades, smoke grenades, general frag grenades. Um, this defense system will actually intercept and disable any grenades before they uh, detonate. So really useful to use as a defender. Now with the rest of them, within SAS, you've got Sledge, who's the really cool character that's got the sledgehammer that breaches through walls and floors. He just walks up and smashes through and then follows up with either a shotgun or L85. So it's nice to team this guy up with someone who maybe has a shield or someone who can follow up after he breaks down those walls and floors and then someone else who can rush in. And then you have Smoke. Smoke's a cool character with his gas grenades. I've been killed once or twice by these damn things. If you're within the gas for probably about two seconds, three seconds, you go down pretty quickly. Um, so it's really good to funnel um, attackers into a certain corridor or maybe stairwell and drop these gas grenades to deal some serious damage. And then for the FBI, they have Thermite and Pulse. Thermite's cool because he has the exothermic charge that actually breaks through even reinforced walls. So normally the defenders can put up uh, these metal sheets up against the walls to reinforce them. And regular breaching charge like this one here um, won't actually be able to bust through those walls. However, he has the special exothermic charge that will be able to even smash through even the strongest defenses. And we have Pulse, who's a little bit of a Call of Duty-esque type, ter type character with his heartbeat sensor. Um, cool to use because when you're holed up inside a room and you can hear footsteps around you, but we're not really sure where they are, you can drop this cardiac sensor and figure out where they are based off their heartbeat. And then we have the French Special Forces. Here we have, I apologize if I can't, if I can't say this, I never really took French class or really paid attention. Uh, Montagne, 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 whatever, whatever he's called. I 
No idea. Who cares? Uh, he has the uh, extendable shield. Uh, similar to the other guy who has a shield, except his one extends all the way to the ground. Uh, most of the other guys, their shield only goes to about thigh height, so uh, you're still kind of exposed around your feet area. However, with him, he can walk. You can walk upright with his shield extended. With uh, you know, one of his re revolver probably might would be my pick, uh, and just kind of burst through into uh, hallways and doorways. Then you have Doc, who's kind of support character of the team. He can heal you with his pistol. Um, if you get shot but not killed, you kind of go down into a downed animation, and he can heal you from a distance without having to run over. And then you have Rook, who drops armor plates for the team, kind of boosts the team with uh, when you can wear some extra armor, kind of a support character. And then for the Spesnaz, they've only unlocked one so far, so I'm interested to see why they've chosen to do that. I know there's going to be three more characters to use here, or operators to use. Uh, but so far we have the cluster charge, which you basically can plant on walls, and it sends grenades through the other side of the wall to blow on the interior. Um, really cool thing to use when the team is unexpecting you to uh, burst through those walls. And you can also follow up with either a shield or a big ass uh, light machine gun. And then we have the GSG. Uh, I've already unlocked two of them. Uh, one of them is Blitz, who uses the shield with the flash on the front, and Jaeger, who has the defense system to disable grenades. And the other two are IQ and Bandit. IQ uses electronics detector, just detects any electronics within the area, kind of like a scout. And then Bandit uses shock wire that attaches to any metallic objects to uh, help harass and disable other players. And so that's it. Those are all the operators that you can pick for Rainbow Six Siege so far. As I said, there's still six more to come, and I'm interested to see what kind of characters those will be. I have seen in other videos um, that there might be someone who uh, has EMP grenades, someone else who can shoot charges that breach through walls, so you could shoot from a distance and blow down walls. Um, definitely interesting to see. Um, some few other characters that we haven't seen yet. But so far, really cool to see these ones. Um, lots of different types of characters you could be, and uh, nice to see when you get a five-man team of everyone with a different speciality uh, and how well you can work together and maximize the skills you have. So really interesting to see. All right, well, that was my video on the operators for Rainbow Six Siege. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was a little better, um, at least sound quality-wise, from the last video. Um, this is probably my, I can't even remember now, probably my 25th take. Um, it's taken me a long time to do this, but I think I finally got it down. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, and I'll see you next time.